First trimester of uni has come to an end and 2018 soon to follow. Now I've got four months to fucking kill, so let's see what I can do to fill that time. So here we are, October, and uni starts up again, all the way here in February in 2019. So what shall I do to fill this next four or five months of my life? Before we do that, let's have a look back at my year so far to get some context. So, boom, here we are, all the way back in February 2018. First trimester of uni at Griffith Film School, and for the next three months, I made friends, worked on films, and right before finishing my trimester, I went out and bought a camera in May. This camera was the A6000, and only a few months later, I had to go out and buy a fucking new camera, the A6300. Because I was stupid, and when I bought my A6000, I didn't realise that it didn't come with a mic port. No quality content with decent audio there, I guess. So, well, there it was. After this, I decided to go on and build my Instagram portfolio with photography and whatnot. Looking back, that fucking garbage, because I shot everything with a horrible Nikon lens. Probably about 10 years old at this point. Anyway, after I bought the camera, I moved close to the city at the end of May. At this point, I had a one month gap between trimesters to do whatever I wanted. So I hit up all my homies and said, fuck it. Let's go exploring and take a bunch of pics and make awesome videos over the break. So it began. Pretty much every day I'd wake up, go hang out and shoot with the boys. In the last week of the holidays, I edited together all the footage and made this. Driven. My first actual video slash film, whatever you want to call it. Now it's June and uni started back up. After the break, I decided to start up a production company with the help of everyone. We called it The Collective. Horrible name I know, it was only a placeholder for then and we got fucking bullied for it. Anyway, then a week went by. Matt and I got a few production jobs for QT Uni across the river. We made an event video for the ball they were doing and got to take pictures of Greenpeace CEO David Ritter. And it was fucking orange. I don't know why, but the room was very orange, but however, I was able to sneak away and get some cool shots like this at the time. Now, only a month into the second trimester of uni, we got another break here in July. This time, it was only a week long, so once again I hit up all my homies and asked who's free to film another video. This was going to be called Persistence. We filmed it over the week and it took me a month to get out, because uni was eating up a lot of my time and after finally coming back to it I realised I didn't like the way it was going and just released it and told myself I'd do better. Mainly because I fucking hated the colour grading and I was stupid at then and I was colour grading in Rec 709 and my footage was log based and I was really confused why my highlights looked like they were going nuclear. Over the next two months from August to October was full on constant assessments, sleep deprivation, and editing around the clock, maintaining a daily post on Insta, making videos for clients on the side, and trying to stay active, and then boom, it's over, I'm done. No more uni, it's finished for the year. So now you're all caught up, what are my plans for the next four months to come, and the future in general? Firstly, what well, within the next week or two, I really want to get my company legalised and legitimised. It's now called 226 Media, based off of the uni, and its address. It's called this because that's where we all met. 226 Gray Street. I also want to go back on a strict diet and workout routine, and also maintaining a daily post on Insta, whilst trying to be a bit more active on YouTube and get a bit more presence there. I also want to make more movies like Driven and Persistence. Finally, I want to spend the majority of my time making connections with businesses and people so my team and I can produce high quality content and get paid in return. So that's the fucking dream in the end, isn't it? This has been my year so far, and what's to come. I hope the rest of it goes well and 2019 goes even better.